Good morning. It's Wednesday, and I'm super happy to be with you this morning to be able to share a word of encouragement. So the topic today is a kind of a sticky one. It's um, something that I personally have wrestled with over the years, and it's about our need for acceptance and recognition from other human beings. So I think that this is something that we kind of learn early in our lives. And the Jesus Calling reading for today talks about this. And you can sometimes be a people pleaser or doing things for the sake of getting a reaction or a response from people. So listen to this reading for today. Find freedom through seeking to please me above all else. You can have only one master. When you let others' expectations drive you, you scatter your energy to the winds. Your own desire to look good can also drain your energy. I am your master, and I do not drive you to be what you are not. Your pretense displeases me, especially when it is in my service. Concentrate on staying close to me at all times. It is impossible to be inauthentic while you are focusing on my presence. Wow, these are powerful, powerful words. <clears throat> I love this part. I am your master and I do not drive you to be what you are not. Boy, sometimes we can strive to be or do things that are just not in our gifts to do or we try to impress or stretch in ways that maybe we were not designed to do ephesians 5 says for you were once for you were once darkness but now you are light in the lord live as children of light for the fruit of the light consists in all goodness righteousness and truth and find out what pleases the Lord. I'm going to read to you also from Matthew 6 this morning. Powerful, powerful teachings in Matthew all throughout this gospel. Matthew 6 says, Take care. Do not do your good deeds publicly to be admired, because then you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. When you give a gift to someone in need, don't shout about it as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and the streets to call attention to their acts of charity. I assure you, they have received all the reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone, don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in secret and your Father who knows all secrets will reward you. Boy, it's tough, especially in the workplace or in any sorts of groups, activities, to not want that appreciation or to not be hoping that someone will notice the wonderful thing that you did, right? So trying to refocus our our um, need for that acceptance and that recognition to only receiving that from our God, our God and our Lord is a powerful, powerful shift for us. And human beings are stubborn. We are many times complicated by all sorts of baggage that we bring with us from our upbringing or from relationships or a variety of things that happen. But God calls us to worship only God and to seek our recognition only from God. The reading this morning from One Step at a Time, <clears throat> this powerful little book about recovery, says, As far as the East is from the West, so far has God removed our transgressions from us. That's from Psalm 103. If you began a journey to the east and planned to circle around the globe by heading west, it would be an endless trip. 
you would just keep going west, never reaching east. That is how far God has removed our transgressions from us. God must really care about us a lot to relieve us so completely, no matter what we have done and no matter what our weaknesses are. God really loves us the way we are, but he loves us too much to leave us this way. God keeps on refining us, teaching us, forgiving us, and loving us. I'm going to read that again. God keeps on refining us, teaching us, forgiving us, and loving us. It does not matter if you have wallowed in the same shortcomings for many years. It is never too late to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with yourself and God about these things. It brings an amazing clarity and peace to talk to God about your pain, your dreams, your desires, and even those things that seem out of reach. It also helps you to come to terms with your own strengths and weaknesses. It's like looking in a three-way mirror and seeing views of yourself that you haven't seen before. Ouch. When was the last time you looked at yourself naked in a three-way mirror? Hmm? There's an eye-opener for you, right? <laughs> Boy, if you want a motivator for losing weight, have someone who loves you shoot video of you walking away from them. I'm just saying, I'm just going to put that out there. God continually works with us. He makes subtle refinements, sometimes not so subtle, masterfully shaping us in his own image. The Lord cares about us so much that he completely forgives our sins. So the prayer for us this morning, if I can find it here, is again from Numbers 6. May the Lord our God bless you and keep you. May the Lord our God protect you, sustain you, and guard you. May the Lord our God make his face to shine on you with favor and be gracious to you with loving kindness. May the Lord our God lift up his face towards you with divine approval and give you peace, give you a tranquil heart, a tranquil life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. Forgive us our faults. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. Lead us not into being recognition addicts. Lead us not into people pleasing, but deliver us from evil. For yours, God, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Ask God what the plan is for today. What are we doing today, Lord? What do you have coming down this road for me today? Whatever it is, give me the strength. Give me the patience. Give me the courage to face whatever happens, no matter what, relying only on you, relying on your love and your strength. Thank you for never giving up on us, God and humbling us in your presence at the foot of the cross. Have a blessed, beautiful, safe, and peaceful day, and thanks for watching.